If you're having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi network of your Skywatcher Star Adventure Star Tracker, well then I have a tip for you. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video on this very issue and I was able to get it to work by simply using a power supply going into the USB to increase the uh, signal strength. Uh, but you notice when I did this video here, I'm someplace different. I'm not in the same spot. And so when I tried this today in the kitchen, I, I literally tried this for hours and I simply could not get it to work. So I went ahead and called Skywatcher Tech Support and here's how I got it to work. So as you know, when you put this in app mode, this turns on the Wi-Fi. And the reason you want to get into Wi-Fi is so that you can use the app that will control the exposure for the long term, the short term, and some other settings in there. And also there is a slew function, which is great. Now there is a slew on the other side, right here. But these are exceptionally slow. And there's a much quicker slow, slew function in the SA console app. Well, the issue is this. I'm trying this in my kitchen, and I've been trying this for a long time, and I have tried everything, and it simply will not connect to Wi-Fi on my iPhone. And so I called um, Skywatcher Tech Support, and he gave me some a uh, couple of tips that we could try. One of those was to simply put this in airplane mode and I tried that and it did not work. He said that a lot of the iPhones have issue because since there's no Wi-Fi connection, so you're not, I'm, I'm sorry, since there is no internet connection, a lot of times they will not connect if you are not in airplane mode. But that didn't work for me. And I actually got my... Um, my computer out and connected and it worked just fine but it simply will not work with an iOS device it won't work with an iPad and it won't work with an iPhone and so here I'm going to demonstrate it and then I'm going to show you how I fixed it here we are and you basically you're just going to see this spin around and around and around and around and so um, I'm going to show you very simply how I got this to work so I'm going to get somebody to hold this for me. Okay. In the time it took me to walk out here, it's now connected. And so the whole issue is that there is a Wi-Fi connection, or there's an interference in the house somewhere. There's something messing with it, and it simply would not work. And so I got this tip from the uh, tech support at uh, Skywatcher, and he suggested I go into a low Wi-Fi area and I'll, it works. And so now that I can connect via Wi-Fi, we can go into the manual and we can slew, and we can go back out and go into all these various functions and make any changes that we want to. And the reason it's important is that when you change any one of these functions here, such as the time lapse or whatnot, and you press the run button, then it's actually going to save that configuration onto the Star Tracker itself so that you don't have to use Wi Fi the next time. All you do is just go and turn the knob to the setting that you had changed, and it will run that program. So it's very helpful. And so, anyway, I hope that this help somebody out there they're maybe having the same thing that I was having and thinking maybe there was something wrong with it and it was just as simple as some sort of a uh, Wi-Fi interference issue and you just need to move it to someplace a little less busy so that's it for the day and I'll see you next time